anything it doesn't want to do. There's a built-in safety here. You know, people have, sometimes people have the false impression that hypno in hypnosis, the hypnotist has power over you. But in reality, your subconscious mind will not do anything that it does not want to do. There's a built-in safety net. Right. right well, I want to give a shout-out to everyone on Blog TV. Hello, everyone who's listening from Blog TV or tuned in to Asia Certified and Evolution. This is a radio show which is about social and personal evolution. And tonight, we have my favorite person in the world, my mom, <laughs> Sarah Donovan, on the show. And um, <laughs> most people call her mom. <laughs> She's kind of a universal mom for everyone, it seems, whether she likes that role or not. <laughs> That's my life's but, purpose. We all need a life's purpose. <laughs> I also want to, um, if you want to get in contact with her, you can email her at Sarah, S-A-R-A, Dakini, D-A-K-I-N-I, at yahoo.com. And you can also go to my website and contact me if you need to or sign up for my newsletter every week. And that's at www.ajacertified.com. I have a certification program where I certify businesses as socially responsible and then promote them in different forms of media. It's all about evolution personally as well as uh, as a community and as a whole world. So we're talking about hypnotherapy with Sarah and we can tune back into that. And um, as I know we talked about finding the safe place and as you start to establish a safe place for individuals, then how do you actually access the different levels of subconscious? I know a lot of people know the countdown of hypnotherapy and um, if you can talk a little bit about that technique and what it does and what what it means, that would be helpful. Well, each individual client will go to the, their own level of depth in trance. Um, some people have a natural gift for going into trance. They go into trance easily and quickly and deeply. Um, other people are less adept at it naturally but the good thing is um, hypnosis can be learned what I mean is going into trance is a skill that can be learned and in fact it is a skill I teach in the second session the second session is about teaching self-hypnosis um, to empower the client they start practicing self-hypnosis each night in bed when they're falling asleep it takes about five minutes three minutes and it's their, it's their affirmation and their visualization that they're using in the self-hypnosis. The affirmation is the words uh, of the goal that they're seeking. For example, uh, back to the, um, we had originally spoken about weight loss. I have a slender, healthy body, for example, would be the affirmation of somebody wanting to lose weight, perhaps. And then the visualization that they would see is themselves in their ideal body, whatever that ideal weight might be for them. They would see themselves in that body and doing what that body would do. And a healthy body usually wants to move. So um, dancing or running or um, in exercise class, riding their bike or swimming, whatever their particular likes are, they would see their body engaged in those activities. And um, this process is something they would do with themselves every single day. And it greatly accelerates the, uh, the goal, the arrival of the goal. Right. hypnosis Very powerful. So then when we're and speaking of... Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> so when we're, we're speaking about going directly into the subconscious and 
shifting our beliefs. How often or how many sessions does it usually take for somebody to start to see a shift in their own behavior and actually show results from the hypnotherapy sessions that you do with them? Well, I can absolutely say that people shift after one session. There is a shift, absolutely. Because the safe place that they discover in the first session, that is then a, something they can access in, in their ordinary life, during their ordinary day, any time. If they feel threatened or they're under stress or they're in a diff, about to face a difficult situation at work, for example, they can flash in their mind's eye on their safe place and connect instantly to that feeling of serenity and well-being. 